With the Commonwealth Games in full flow, some of the world's finest athletes are in the host city of Glasgow. The Scotland Seven side, however, looked closer to home for their star turn. Tommy Seymour had a niggle and uh, he wasn't sure he was going to be fit enough, so the physios pulled him. And, and Scott Johnson had, had a, a little meeting at the end of the tour and he asked if he wanted to play. And, I grabbed the opportunity and you know, I said yes straight away. I've found a new bit of respect for the Sevens boys. It's incredibly tough and you know, I've learnt a lot of lessons over the last couple of weeks that things that you might get away with in 15s, you'll never get away with in Sevens. Hogg made his international debut as a replacement at the age of 19 and despite his lack of experience, he appeared to have made a dream start. You know, the referee apologised to me at night for that and you know, I was a couple of beers deep after that so I had to kind of watch what I was saying but uh, no, I accept his apology but no, just the, the day was, was a fantastic day, the best day of my life so far and uh, I just loved every minute of, of the occasion. The first try came soon enough on his first full start and in front of a home crowd. Hogg made certain the referee couldn't deny him this time. It was massive for me, you know, he got the, the chance to play at Murrayfield. Um, you know, as a little kid, you dream of, dream of playing there and, you know, to, to score uh, in the corner uh, from a first try was... I had no idea what I was doing after that and the celebration was absolutely horrendous. But, uh, no, I just loved, loved playing for Scotland and, you know, to get over for the first try was just unbelievable. One year on, he nervously awaited the British and Irish What's Lions squad announcement. Scotland. The train had just, been, just finished and all the attention that the boys were getting that, that had a chance of being in the Lions, you know, we were asked if we were going to watch the announcement and, and I said I wasn't going to watch it and then the next minute I was going to watch it and Chris Patterson was there so I was doing some goal kicking and I, you know, I forgot my kicking tee so I had to run in and get my kicking tee and at the time I grabbed my phone at the same time and um, so I got Sky Sports News on and and uh, my name was second right out and I screamed like a little girl and all the boys were like, oh, you, you must be in then. And that no, was just a, a great feeling and um, I phoned my dad straight away and, and broke down into tears. It was just uh, an amazing feeling and, you know, it's, I'll, I'll remember that day for the rest of my life. Being the youngest player on tour, he carried an extra burden, namely Bill, the team's mascot. It came with a, a lot of responsibility and, um, you know, he'd go walkabouts on, on a couple of days. Uh, you know, Mike Phillips was the first one in Wales to, to steal him and hide him and you know, the pressure that I was under to find him and get him to the next training session was unbelievable and you know, at times I was, I was worried I was forgetting my rugby boots because I'd, I'd be able to land to worry about first and you know, it, was just, it was great to have a, a little bit of responsibility and, and, and you know, to, to keep it at the end was, was, was really good as well. Despite not playing in the tests, Hogg proved he was at home in this company. Me being as young, you know, I grew up watching kind of Brian O'Driscoll, he was my hero, and to play a game alongside him was unbelievable. I was thinking, you know, when I've got the ball looking outside me, I've, he's just outside me, so it was a, an unbelievable feeling. You know, we had a, a goal from the very beginning that we were going out there to win, and uh, to achieve that was just brilliant. At club level, he spent his career to date with Glasgow Warriors, a side whose steady progression peaked last season when they reached the Pro 12 final for the first time. We've been in the semi-final for, for the two previous years and been knocked out by Leinster at the RDS, funnily enough. And uh, to go one step further this year, you know, we had a goal that we want to be the first Scotland team to win the title. And uh, you know, we, we just came up short there, but to get that experience of the final again, I think it'll stand us in good stead for the season ahead. And again, our target has to be the first team, uh, the first Scottish team to win it. So, you know, the, the hard work has already started for that. You know, the boys have been in pre-season already and, um, no, as I say, we're in a good place at Glasgow and hopefully we just you know, keep, keep the momentum going and, and have a good start to the season and, and uh, you know, finish off with a title. Still only 22, this young man has plenty of time to achieve his ambitions. A lot of work to be done along the way. But, you know, I'm always up for, for working hard and I just want to be the best rugby player I can possibly be. I've got the right coaches to help me along the way, so uh, I'd love to win a title with Glasgow, I'd love to win a Six Nations with Scotland and... You know, I've got a World Cup next year as well, so why not win that as well? It's always about setting targets and, and achieving targets, and uh, you know, it's, um, as I say, there's a lot of hard work to be done, but I'm up for it.